Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We're gonna hop right on into the video. This is the Body by Blow. Um, it's a volumizing mousse, but it's not a crunchy mousse. Um, as you can see, I put maybe like a golf ball size and I love to just work it in starting at the roots and then work it work its way out. Um, I love, love, love that it's not a crunchy mousse. Um, so basically you could just go overboard with it and not have to worry about it like getting all hard and you know, crunchy and stuff. So I love to use this first. And then the second product that I love, it's actually my favorite. Um, it's a root lift concentrate. Um, you guys know me and my root products. I just, volume to me comes and starts at the roots. So if you can concentrate, you know, your products um, and your styling at the roots, then everything else will just fall into place. So as you can see, I go all over with this stuff. <laughs> I take it to town. And then the next thing that I love to use, this is the um, hair primer, which also acts as a uh, heat protect heat protectant sorry I can't talk so I just kind of go to town with this too and then prepare for styling and here is my hair tool of choice I ever since I chopped my hair I just have been using a blow dryer um, sometimes I will go in with a flat iron you know to kind of tweak it here and there but to get the volume that I want and the bounce that I want I only achieve that with a blow dryer and I like to use the attachment because that way the airflow goes straight um, and directly onto the roots um, and then I just blow dry in the opposite direction of where my hair naturally falls uh, normally I would let it air dry a little bit not too much that way I don't concentrate too much heat onto my head but you know hey whatever so for the sake of this video I was I'm just showing you how I blow dry uh, flipping the hair back and forth sometimes I flip it all the way over blow dry it that way um, and then after majority of the wetness is out I will get a round brush and start uh, round brushing my head so true story while I was blow drying my hair I was like is there a light on this thing <laughs> it does have six white LED lights which is a part of their uh, pure air technology I had to look it up um, but it actually decreases or helps decrease the bacteria and build up inside the hair dryer uh, which therefore improves airflow and quality and just delivers better blowouts for your hair <laughs> Then to seal it all together, I'm using my Stronghold Finishing Spray. This is the After Blow. This stuff is legit. I love this stuff. But if you guys are interested in any of the products, uh, specifically the hair dryer or the flat iron, you guys will see that in a minute, check out your local Ulta or Ulta.com. Uh, Blow Pro is having a promo for both of those items. So check down in the description box for more information. Okay, so this is how I would wake up in the morning. Um, this is my bed hair. You guys saw last night before bed, I went ahead and did like a quick product insert and uh, blow dry. My tool for this length of hair is definitely the blow dryer just because um, my hair is a little too short for me to uh, really do anything to it not that I can't I just I'm too lazy and I'm more about volume than like curl or straight hair or whatever so my tool that I've been using every single day is a blow dryer and this one is from blow pro I love this one because it does have a cool setting here at the top which is just a button so if you do like to style your hair or whatever uh, the cool option is good to kind of set your curls or set your style um, prior to just letting it die out it does have a two-speed dial here and then you have a medium and hot cold or uh, I'm sorry medium and hot uh, setting. Typically what I would use is my blow dryer and a uh, round brush and then um, there's really no technique to it. Um, that's kind of why I prolonged this video um, as long as I have because there's really no technique to it. So I like to use the heat protectant at night. Um, sometimes I like to just spritz it on if I'm adding like you know extra heat to my hair or whatnot. 
And then typically what I would do is just grab a clip like this, clip it up, and then start blow drying away. So as you can see, this is pretty much achieved just with a blow dryer and a round brush. Obviously you can, you know, tweak it here and there. A lot of times when I do my hair the night before, um, I just concentrate on actually, you know, getting the round brush and just really blow drying my hair. Um, sometimes it's a little too round brushy if you ask me, but usually or typically when I sleep overnight and I wake up the next morning, it's fine and good to go. Also on some days, uh, if I need the extra, you know, straightness, a lot of times I'll just go like this. However, my hair is naturally for that day uh, but sometimes I do like to go through with a straightener and just kind of like you know straighten the ends I give it a little curl like that at the bottom so it kind of goes inward like that um, and then sometimes with the bangs I like to curl away from the face um, and then it gives it a natural just kind of droop here on the side. I love that it has an automatic switch. When I was living with my parents in high school and stuff I used to always forget to turn off my curling iron and my straightener and stuff like that and I used to get in so much trouble. My dad um, is a former fire captain so he would always like get on me for you know forgetting to, to turn off my electronics and unplug things. So what I love about this, it does have a, um, an automatic shut off after some time. So that's good, especially if you have kids. Um, it's always handy to have like an auto shut off in case you forget, because I can't tell you how many times I've left the house and I'm like, crap, I forgot to unplug my uh, straightener, blow dryer, curler, whatever it was. Short hair, it's, it's sometimes it can be high maintenance if it's not cooperating, but usually when I tend to it the night before, it always it's always fine the next day, and that way I don't waste that much time uh, preparing my hair for that day, um, especially with a new baby coming. Um, Ain't nobody got time for that. The key product that I love to use is a root pump. So this is the Blow Up Root Lift Concentrate uh, from Blow Pro. And this is just the key to my hair. I cannot live without a root pump or any kind of, you know, um, accelerator to help my volume. And being that I love layers, I love short hair, this just really helps um, when I work the product into the roots and then I use the blow dryer to kind of give it a big oomph, you know what I mean? And then sleeping on it, it just does wonders. And so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to seal the hair with uh, the After Blow Stronghold Finishing Spray. This is very lightweight, so it's not gonna weigh down the hair, which I love. It's very, um, like, I'm gonna hold it here and look. <laughs> it definitely doesn't go anywhere, so I appreciate that. But I'm just going to lift the hair. I don't care if it's too volumey because here in here in Savannah, um, the humidity is ridiculous and my hair always ends up falling anyway. So I like to kind of go overboard and then just kind of let it fall on its own. Don't blow your eyeballs out. And then that's it. There, there you have it. So I wanted to get this video out for you guys. I know so many of you have been asking me questions about my hair and stuff, which by the way, let me just run through it really quickly with you guys. I've gotten so many questions about the cut of my hair and to be honest, um, I would say it's like a, it's not a long bob, but it's it's pretty short. Um, it, it's, it's longer in the front and then shorter in the back. I'll show you guys the back right here. You can see there's like, you can see there's like a bunch of layers um, up top. 
other than that, that is pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any more questions, uh, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section and definitely feel free to check out the products that I used last night and today <laughs> um, in the description box. So definitely check out Blow Pro. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in and until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah.